Hi children, how are you? Children, listen. Today we are going to learn about lesson seven. Enter data and do calculation. Okay, cuties. Listen, children. Listen carefully. Getting started with MS Excel 2007. Step 1. Click on the Start button in the taskbar. Step 2. Select all programs. Step 3. Select Microsoft Office. Step 4. Select Microsoft Office Excel 2007 option from the Microsoft Office menu. Microsoft Office Excel 2007 opens. The MS Excel 2007 window looks as shown. Just as in Word, Excel also has a title bar, a menu bar and a ribbon menu attached with each and every menu. A1 is the active cell by default. As you can see, that is selected. Default setting in Excel. The default alignment settings for text in Excel is left alignment and for numbers or dates etc is right alignment. If necessary, you can toggle the alignment by using the alignment features located in the home ribbon. Formatting in Excel. You have already learnt in Word that formatting is the process of changing appearance of the text. When you do formatting, generally you change the font, font size font color, bold, italic, underline, alignments, etc. In addition to that, you can also increase or decrease the row height, column width, thickness of the grid lines, etc. Let's start by changing the column heading to bold. Step 9. Select the first row by clicking on its header as shown. The entire row will be selected. Step 10. Click on the bold button now and you can notice that the entire content of the first row is now bold formatted. Step 11. Similarly, select column A, excluding column heading that is A2 to A12. Click on A2 and drag up to A12. The entire serial number column is selected now. Click on center alignment button and the data in the selected area will be center aligned. Similarly, left align all the names and right align the dates and number of pairs. Step 12. Similarly, select the content of the columns C and D. Just by selecting from C2 to D12, click on C2 and drag up to D12 and click on right alignment to make column C and D content right aligned. Changing row height, column width and thickness of the grid line. Step 13. Select all the rows with content by clicking on the row headers. Click on the row 1 header and drag up to row 12 header. Step 14. Right click on the selected area of the worksheet. Context menu appears. Select row height option from the context menu. Step 15. Row height dialog box appears. Type 30 in the text box provided beside row height label in row height dialog box and click on the OK button. Automatically, the row height of the selected cells in Excel is changed to 30 and it looks nice, but you will have some alignment problem. Step 16. Click on Vertical Center Alignment button in Home Ribbon of Excel. Text will be vertically center aligned. Similarly, you can also adjust the column width to the best fitting by double clicking on its border. In order to make entire column width to best fit, 
you must have selected all the columns. Let's not cancel the selection to adjust the column width to its best fitting. Step 17. Click on the sheet header to select entire sheet and double click on the border of the column to adjust the column width to its best fitting. The reason for changing the thickness of the grid line is because the lines between the columns and rows that are visible now in Excel will not be visible when printed on paper. So, let's change the thickness of the grid lines of those cells with content only. Step 18. Cancel the current selection by clicking on any cell in the worksheet. Let's click on A1 and drag up to D12 to select only the content area. Content area is selected. Step 19. Click on the small triangle beside border button located in the home ribbon. Border menu appears. Step 20. Select all border options from the borders menu. Entire content grid lines will become thick. Step 21. Let's do addition of number of pairs in column D. So, click on the last cell of the selected area that is D12 to cancel the selection. You can click on any cell to cancel the selection. Okay children, today homework is do page number 45 in your workbook. Okay goodies, stay safe, stay in your home, Hawaii screen time. Thank you.